Hello, this is Micah, and I am showcasing the progress on my emulator called Bobbin, which is targeted at um, running in the terminal. Uh, it will support other more graphical interfaces, but its primary use case that I personally wanted it for was to run in the terminal like this alongside an editor and a, and a build mechanic. Uh, and uh, it has, uh, it already has a lot of features. It has a lot more. I'm not going to get to very many of them in here, but I did want to at least showcase it doing the specific thing that motivated me to write it, um, which is to respond nearly instantaneously to code changes that I make. So over here on the left, the, the upper left, you can see the source code here. I'm going to change this byte value as it affects a timer. I want the current display to run slower. So I'm going to change this 11 to a 3. And uh, you may notice, I'll, I'll, I'll put it again, back again, but all I did was save the file and then the emulator has automatically updated to the latest version of my code. Uh, and I'll put it back to a 3 again and slow it down so you can see. Um, you may notice that the, you know, it, 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 it looks short. It looks horizontally short. It looks way too short. Uh, and that's just because, you know, these are essentially 80-column fonts being used to simulate a 40-column Apple II um, screen. And so it definitely looks truncated. But it is the correct number of characters for the screen. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I can go change the word right now. It's displaying the word hello. I can change that to bobbin. And as soon as I save it, you can see, again, it, it just automatically updates the simulation immediately. Um, and so how it does that, uh, is this this option right here, dash dash watch, which says, hey, pay attention to this sign dot bin over here, um, because that is, uh, because, because that may update and change, and if it updates and changes, I want you to reboot the emulator and reload it and jump to the same place where you started at before and all of that. Um, uh, I would also like to make special note of this delay until feature which is easier to explain if I pull it out so I'm gonna pull that out and now you can see when it runs uh, the screen hasn't been cleared until that text you know passes over something to clear it um, even though um, if I go up to the top of the source code I'm working with and this is this is for the CA65 uh, assembler that's part of CC65 and uh, and you can see the very first thing the program does is call out to the home subroutine which clears the clears the screen uh, but what's going on is that over here um, with this command when I'm saying load at 803 and start at 803 it jumps the emulation to start immediately at location 803 uh, and that's in hexadecimal of course um, uh, it, it jumps the emulation to immediately start the Apple II at location 803, which means it doesn't even perform the boot sequence that uh, that an Apple II normally goes through. And so, um, and so, zero page variables such as wind left, wind top, other things that the monitor needs and relies on for its routines and facilities. Uh, have not been set up properly and that's why clearing the screen just didn't work and so what the delay until routine does is it says look okay i want you to load up the uh, sign dot bin and i want you to load it here but um but i don't want you to do any of that until uh you've booted up normally and then program execution reaches this spot right here which is inside the get line facility which is what prompts the user for a line of input and this specific location was chosen because it works for basic it works for integer basic and it works for the monitor so no matter where you end up after a boot um, this is a great trigger point to say okay you're booted up now uh now load 
this binary into memory and jump the program counter over there and start executing over, over there instead. So that's exactly what it does. So when I run it with the delay until, now the monitor's had a chance to boot up properly, and now it knows how to clear the screen when I ask it to. And that's, um, that is the core feature that I wanted bobbin for. I wanted blazing fast response to every code change that I make. Uh, and this was inspired by um, 8-Bit Workshop, which has a similar kind of setup, but some of the tools that are built into it are less convenient to use than some of my preferred editors and source control uh, uh, systems. And, um, and the emulator as well, uh, I wanted to, to be able to do certain specific things. And 8-Bit uh, Workshop is entirely open source, so it's entirely possible to go in and change and update it. But I'd rather just use the real Vim and use the real Git um, to manage things. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, I don't want to take time with it, but yeah, so Bobbin doesn't do any of the actual building. It just checks the binary results, so I rigged up something separate here as a shell command that uses the Linux inotify facility, which is also what Bobbin uses. So currently, as it's written, it can only watch for files on Linux, uh, but I will write a fallback mechanism for other Unixes as well, or Unix-like environments running on non-Unix systems even. This is actually running on Ubuntu under Windows uh, via the Windows subsystem for Linux, which basically um, provides the Linux kernel API, even though it's Windows. Um, and so, yeah, this is uh, this is my project. This is what I intend to use it for. It has many more features that I have not had time to cover here. Uh, thank you for your attention. And this is what I did for... Uh, well, I didn't do it specifically for Slack Fest at Kansas Fest, but, um, uh, but the timing coincided very neatly. I started it just a couple of days before the quote-unquote quote official, official non-official start time. Uh, and I'm creating this video um, uh, early, early, I guess, uh, a little bit after midnight uh, on Sunday morning uh, Pacific time um, on the weekend of A2 Forever Kansas Fest. And so, uh, <coughs> so I'm counting this as my Slack Fest entry, um, and uh, there will be plenty more work on it. And there's already been plenty more work than you're seeing right here. Uh, but this is what I've had time to show. Thank you very much.